This webinar training will cover the Washington Gives and Give Big platform basics, including how to register, how to access your page, how to edit your page, uh, use the profile for the Give Big campaign, as well as all year round on the Washington Gives platform. Just to start with a little bit of basic information about Washington Gives as a platform, it is hosted by 501 Commons out of uh, Washington State, and the technology partner behind the platform is MightyCause.com. Washington Gives runs two major annual fundraising campaigns each year, Give Big, hosted every year in the spring in May, as well as Giving Tuesday in the fall, right after Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Uh, but outside of these two major campaigns, it is a year-round fundraising resource for nonprofits. Uh, there are fundraising tools that you can use all year round, including a donation form for your website, peer-to-peer -peer fundraising tools, a number of integrations, volunteer management, matching grants. Uh, we'll cover a lot of those today to make sure that you're aware of what you have access to on the platform. Um, but all donations will be processed securely and dispersed on a bi-monthly basis to all participating organizations that have elected to sign up for direct deposit. Uh, so again, just a little bit of overview on what's possible in the Washington Gives platform. And we're gonna focus primarily in the rest of the training on reviewing the basics of how to use the platform and what tools you have access to. So on a year round basis, uh, both as a part of the Give Big campaign, as well as outside of that, you, your organization has the ability to accept one time or recurring donations. As I mentioned, funds are dispersed on a bi-monthly basis. So if you do have recurring donations set up for your organization, you'll be receiving them on a regular basis all year round. You have the ability to embed either a simplified donation widget or a full custom embeddable donation form on your website. If you'd like to collect donations on your website that will also process through the Washington Gives platform. We have great tools to customize your checkout experience, including donation levels, receipts, et cetera. You have lots of availability to do peer-to-peer uh, -peer fundraising, um, very comprehensive peer-to-peer -peer fundraising tools, the ability to add real-time matching grants to any of those campaigns, including to your Give Big campaign, comprehensive reporting and analytics tool, volunteer management. Um, those are just some of the basic features that you have included. Uh, as a part of your participation in the Washington Gives platform. So how do you get started? If you're new to Washington Gives, or if you haven't participated in a few years, you want to come to WashingtonGives.org and start by creating a user account. You can create one with your email address existing. You can connect with Facebook, Google, et cetera. But that will be your first step is creating your user account that you'll use to log in every time you access the platform. From there, you'll want to fill out a short registration form on the Give Big 2023 website. It'll just ask you a few brief questions about your organization and submitting that form will allow you to pay your registration fee as well as get, your non get you access to your nonprofit's account on the platform. Once you complete that registration form, your next step is gonna be to complete a to-do list. Uh, it's a very short to-do list with a couple key items that will help set your organization up for success. We'll review what is included on that to-do list briefly. Um, but those are the two key steps to get your organization onboarded and ready to um, be searchable and donatable on Washington Gives, as well as eligible for the Give Big campaign in May. Once you are uh, eligible, registered, approved. Uh, it's up to you to customize your profile on the platform, uh, kind of going beyond some of the basics on the to-do list, making sure that you're using that profile to tell a great story about your organization's work, and then planning your fundraising campaign off the platform. Um, where are you going to be promoting your campaign? What channels are you going to be using? What messaging are you going to use? Are you going to have a match? Are you going to engage peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers? Whatever it might be that's going to go into making your uh, campaign for the upcoming Give Big uh, event a success. Uh, and then the fun begins. Uh, once early giving opens, uh, you'll begin to raise money uh, through the through the giving day. And again, uh, that's available year round for any nonprofit that wants to continue fundraising outside of the Give Big season. So within the platform, 
<clears throat> once you have access to your organization's dashboard, anytime you log into the platform using the user menu in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, you'll see the ability to click onto your organization's dashboard. This is really going to be how you navigate all the tools across the platform. So you wanna visit your nonprofit's dashboard. So what I've got here is a quick walkthrough of the key features pages you'll see on that dashboard and what you can manage from each of those pages. First on the dashboard will be your overview screen. This screen is only visible to administrators of your organization. When you click on your dashboard, you will first always get taken to the overview. It's your welcome to the platform. But again, donors are not able to see that overview page. This will include information like your registration status. So if you are approved, it will show that there. If you're pending, it will show that there and you still have work to do. And if you see there that uh, the prompt to register now, it means you haven't started the process and you'll wanna click on that button to complete your registration. You'll also find the to-do list there. So you see a screenshot here uh, of the yellow to-do list, which will pop out over the page. That's gonna walk you through any required and recommended items to get your page and profile ready for success. Next is your organization page. This is actually the profile page that you will customize to share with donors as a part of your campaign. The fundraising folder on the dashboard is gonna have all kinds of fundraising tools, including matching grants, peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, um, and then some exciting extras like text to give, volunteer management, et cetera. Reports, we'll have all your different reports. We have a comprehensive online donations report, offline donations report, recurring donation reports, donor retention report, if you have participated or used this platform in the past, um, lots of different reports available, including a disbursement report, which will help you reconcile any funds you receive through the platform. Checkout folder will allow you to customize the checkout process. Uh, so everything from um, what questions do you ask on the donation form to what does the thank you page look like? And finally, settings. Um, as it sounds, that's where you can set your organization's uh, basic settings, add new administrators, sign up for direct deposit, um, change your organization's legal name or legal address. Those are kind of details that you can handle in the settings. So again, just a quick overview of the dashboard. Now we're going to dig a little bit deeper into each of those key items uh, to really orient you to where you can find what on the platform. So first, the to-do list. I mentioned this already. You can see we've got a screenshot here of the top of an overview screen, and you'll see in that yellow highlighted area, it says your setup is incomplete. See to-do list. If you have not completed all the required items on your to-do list, you will not be approved to raise funds on the platform. And so that's why in this example, the registration is pending because the to-do list is still incomplete. So if you have completed the registration form but not completed the to-do list, that's your next step to complete registration. Clicking on that uh, to-do list in the yellow highlighted area or in that uh, where you see the red dot towards the top of your screen, that's going to follow you all throughout your dashboard. Um, that red dot means you still have action to take. So as a part of the Washington Gives platform, the two required elements for your to-do list or adding a logo to your page and adding content to the about section of your page. And that's it. It's pretty streamlined, should be pretty quick and easy uh, to get that completed. And then there is a, a longer list of recommended items. Now these are items that uh, the hosts at 501 Commons are recommending nonprofits complete to have a really good looking profile that's gonna tell a powerful story and run a successful campaign. But these are not required to become approved for participation in the event. So uh, background image, contact information, social media information, search categories to allow donors to more appropriately find organizations through search, setting up direct deposit, that setting up the thank you experience and adding uh, information about your organization's leader. So again, only those two items, logo and about, are required. The rest are just recommended and encouraged that you complete. So on the actual profile page itself, as I mentioned already, this is the key page that you're going to customize and share with supporters. 
So you'll want to customize the look and feel of this page. I'll show in a moment some of the options that you have design-wise to customize it, but really you want to look at this page as a place to tell a powerful story about why donors should give. What is the impact of your organization? What is the impact of their donation going to be? And as you think about the entire experience for your donor from email that they receive to donation, you know, to organization profile page, to donation form, to thank you experience, consider what story you're telling throughout that whole journey to make sure it does feel consistent um, with your key message for either this Give Big campaign or future fundraising efforts on the Washington Gives platform. So to edit your theme, you have a couple key aspects you can control. Of course, the logo, as I mentioned already, is a requirement. That's going to be a one-to-one -one aspect ratio logo, same as you would have on Facebook or Instagram. We recommend that you upload your own banner image. Uh, that's that image that's going to lay behind the logo there. We do have a gallery that you can choose from if you don't uh, have your own great image. Uh, so you're welcome to choose one of our images in our gallery but we encourage you to consider uploading uh, your own background image. It's a great way to add some uh, context for donors, connect them with your work, your mission, uh, right when they land on the page. Um, and you have the ability also to set the theme color. Uh, so you can choose a color that ties back into your logo, your branding, and then that color will be used throughout the page in headers, on buttons, et cetera. And all of this editing will be done on page. So you can see what kind of changes you're making and how they look while you're making those changes. And anywhere on your profile page that you see a pencil mark icon is gonna be an indication that you can click on that to make an edit. Further down the profile page, you have the ability to customize the page metrics that you're displaying uh, either during this upcoming Give Big campaign or after, um, as well as um, adding an optional uh, progress bar thermometer and a giving activity feed to your page. So if you'd like to set a goal, which is absolutely recommended for a specific campaign like Give Big, um, you can set a goal. And then as you receive donations during the campaign, uh, the progress bar will be updated in real time to show your progress towards that goal. You can choose whether you're showing just dollar-based metrics or donors as well, whether you want those to include offline donations or strictly online. Uh, and you can also set the start time. So for the Give Big campaign in particular, we of course encourage everybody to start that metric start date from the date of early giving. And then lower down on your page, you'll see the ability to enable a giving activity feed. And this is a bit like a donor timeline. It will show the names of donors and uh, the amount of their gift, unless they've requested that either their name and or the amount show uh, uh, be hidden when they're going through the checkout process. So it's a really nice way to add a dynamic social proof to your page uh, to show what donors have given as a part of your campaign. You also have uh, an inline editor on the page to tell a powerful story. Again, this about section is this only the second of two items that are required on your to-do list. So this is where you'll want to tell your story. It can be as simple to meet the requirement as adding text about your mission and organization, but we really encourage you to go beyond that. There is a free form editor here where you can add formatting um, bullets, you can add images, videos, headers, um, lots of great uh, additional multimedia to make this a more dynamic story to really excite donors um, and really to get them to see the key message you're trying to get them to see uh, when they visit your page. You also have the ability to add uh, media to the page. There is a media gallery where you can upload photos. You also have the ability to add, connect an Instagram account. Uh, if you want your Instagram gallery to automatically uh, kind of sync. And as you post new photos on Instagram, a new photo will be added to that Instagram gallery on your profile page. Um, and finally, you can optimize your social share settings for your a profile page. So as you share your profile on social throughout the campaign, or as donors may share it, uh, you have the ability to customize the content. What is the text uh, look 
like when they share, what is the image uh, that gets shared alongside it? So encourage everybody to take a look at what's available there. None of this is required, but it's all optional way to, um, to really get more out of your page. Moving off the profile page itself, um, just a key uh, refresher on some of the reports you have access to. I already mentioned uh, there's a myriad of reports that you have access to based on the type of donation you're looking for, um, but you'll start with a comprehensive donation report, which will have all donations, online, offline, recurring, et cetera. Anybody who's an administrator for your nonprofit will receive a, an email notification whenever a donation is made. If you have an administrator that does not want to receive those, if you have the wonderful problem of receiving way too many donations in a short period of time, uh, anybody can go into their own user profile and adjust those notification settings. But by default, an admin will receive an email notification when a donation is made, but you can always come to your donations report to access data in real time. You'll see a preview on screen of some of the key information about each donation and the download will download a CSV with all relevant details about the donation. By default, when you land on this page, you'll see the past 30 days of donation activity. Uh, but for example, if you've used the platform in the past and you want to access previous donation history, uh, you can just go ahead and adjust that filter uh, to a different time period. This is also where you can um, add offline donations to your profile uh, and you can manage recurring donations. I mentioned earlier, recurring donations are available during Give Big as well as all year round. Um, and if you do have donors set up recurring gifts, um, you have a dedicated recurring donation report that makes it easier to manage, track, stay on top of those recurring gifts, get ahead of any that are set to lapse, uh, et cetera. Disbursement details, I mentioned earlier that uh, for any organization that opts to sign up for direct deposit, there will be a twice monthly disbursement. So uh, around the 10th and the 25th of each month, your nonprofit will receive a direct deposit with um, batched funds from that previous period of time. Uh, you can sign up for direct deposit in the settings tab of your uh, dashboard. Uh, it's very easy. Um, to do so, you give some brief information. You may or may not need to provide additional documentation. Um, but again, we encourage everyone to sign up for direct deposit. You get your funds quicker and they are not subject to the $5 paper check fee that disbursements would be subject to if you elect not to sign up for EFT. Um, and if you stay with check disbursements, you'll only receive your funds on a once monthly basis. So it's definitely possible to do that, but we, we encourage direct deposit. Uh, and there will always be a corresponding disbursement report in the app, uh, in your dashboard, uh, to help reconcile exactly every dollar and cents that you receive from the platform, what donations were included, what fees were included, et cetera. When it comes to customizing the checkout flow, especially ahead of a campaign like Give Big, we encourage everybody to review and preview the donation experience start to finish and customize as much as possible. So you can do that in a few different ways. You can set the donation levels. You know, what are the suggested donation amounts that you're encouraging your donors to give? Uh, you can also add custom language to make suggestions on, you know, what is the impact of a $50 donation or a $100 donation, for example, to help donors really tie the tangible impact of their gift to the work of your organization. Um, you can do things like default your donation form to be monthly uh, donation as the uh, default, for example, should you choose either during Give Big or another time in the year to run a recurring donation campaign, you can default donors to give a monthly gift amount. You also have the ability to um, choose what donor data you collect. Um, in terms of any additional information uh, that you might need. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, previewing the experience, you'll see in uh, on-page editing exactly what the donation form will look like for donors so you can be comfortable with exactly what that experience will be. And post-donation, there are two things that you can customize. Um, a thank you page that donors will see on screen when they complete their gift as well as a thank you receipt 
Uh, so when a donor makes their gift on the Washington Gives platform, an immediate tax receipt is sent by the platform. So you don't need to send that. But if you add a custom message into the donation receipt that you have access to in your dashboard, you will make sure that there is a more customized, personalized looking message from your nonprofit that goes into that automated platform receipt. And on screen, as soon as somebody completes a donation, they will see an on screen confirmation and thank you page. You have the ability with the same free form editor that you have access to on your profile page to share a thank you message, whether you want to add a video or just text, a photo, et cetera. Um, it really gives you two key opportunities in the receipt and the thank you page for immediate stewardship with your donors and reinforcing and connecting donors with what they gave their gift for. So encourage everybody to customize that experience as well as preview it so that ahead of a campaign, you have confidence in the donation experience start to finish. Finally, in the settings I mentioned already, you can add or remove administrators. If there are people that have moved on from your organization that should no longer have access, you can remove them. You can add new people on your team that do need access. You can update any legal information for your organization, as well as signing up for that EFT disbursements. So just a, a quick thing to end on here. Um, all the things that we've talked about so far are uh, included in your participation in the Washington Gives platform. You have access to all of those features um, by your participation in Washington Gives. Um, but for some participating nonprofits, you may want to consider taking advantage of our advanced features and signing up for an advanced subscription. An advanced subscription gets you access to more tools, including a light built-in supporter CRM system, an embeddable donation form that can be embedded on your website. I mentioned earlier, we have a simplified donation widget that is available um, at no additional cost, but if you'd like a more customizable form, then you have access to that in the advanced subscription. We have text to give available that you can set up for a specific campaign and a number of integrations to make your lives a bit easier with your fundraising, including Salesforce, MailChimp, Google Analytics, uh, as well as Zapier, which is a database of over a thousand applications, including a number of other CRMs and email programs. Uh, so you may find that there are opportunities for efficiency and streamlining your fundraising administration through some of those integrations. If you're interested in upgrading, and again, this is completely optional, um, all of the basic tools that we covered through the majority of this training session uh, are available at no additional cost beyond the um, registration fee to join the platform. Um, but you do have access. You can either choose to sign up for a month or uh, for the full year if you plan to take advantage of the Washington Gives platform all year round. Um, you can streamline your fundraising efforts, perhaps if you've been hosting a peer-to-peer -peer campaign outside of the Give Big season on a different platform, you might be able to take advantage of moving that to Washington Gives, add integrations as we just talked about to help streamline your efficiency, uh, customize the donation processing experience on your website, and make sure that the majority of donations are going through the same place. Uh, so lots of um, benefits to consider uh, if they make sense for your nonprofit. And if you are interested in checking it out, uh, you'll want to go to your settings uh, under plan management and you'll get more information about the plan, uh, the subscription and what's included there. Finally, during the Give Big campaign, as well as all year round, by participating in Washington Gives, you have access to a dedicated customer support team that is here uh, to help you make best use of the platform. You can visit support.mightycause.com. Uh, that is a website with a lot of how-to articles, self-help uh, tools that you can uh, use to navigate and learn the platform. You can always email us directly at support at mightycause.com. And uh, our team will get back to you as quick as we can to help you navigate the platform. So with that, I'm going to end today's training. Thanks so much for uh, viewing this. If you have additional questions, please do feel free to access some of those support resources. Um, and uh, thanks for being a part of Washington Gives and Give Big. Thank you.